Hello friends. <coughs> now, as I told you yesterday, I am taking these classes using a method called the communicative method of teaching English. In, in its purest form, communicative method is given the teacher. Step one is explaining difficult words and using them in sentences. Step two will be the highlights of the uh, lesson will be given. Step three, a set of questions which the student should answer. There is no reading by the teacher. The teacher won't read. But here, since it is a virtual classroom, I am reading. As I told you, in its purest form, there is no such thing. Right. So here today we see uh, strange and small. Strange, you know, is the meaning of strange situation. But solemn means serious and important. For example, the inspection days are solemn days. Or price days are solemn days. Or we say about uh, uh, a festival is a solemn festival. We say. It's a solemn festival. We say. Isn't it? Solemn ceremonies. All the ceremonies are always. Marriage ceremony is a solemn ceremony. Yes? It's serious and also it's important. Then primer. Primer means, you know, that is a kind of powder used for uh, used uh, for applying on the walls before painting, primer. Uh, but here it means canvas. A canvas which is thumbed. You can see the edges are thumbed. Thumbed means used very much. This primer means a canvas. So mounted his car, chair means he, he sat on his chair. He sat on his chair, mounted. A very serious word is said, mounted. Like mounted on his horse. Rather. The teacher mounted Mounted his chair. That means the teacher sat on his chair. Uh, thunderclap means they are extremely happy. You can see. Suppose there is an auditorium, uh, about a thousand people, and probably you might have come across Pangajudhas singing gazelles. At the end of that, you will hear a thunderclap. All the other people will be uh, clapping like this. Pangajudhas. No? Or uh, you, have, you have come across the gazelles of Gazelle concerts of Mumbai. So that also. All these uh, programs are, or uh, when uh, uh, great singers you know, like Muhammad Rafi or KD, uh, Dr. KD Yeshudas, and they are, uh, after their concert, then after they sing, people will be clapping. You know, there is a thunderclap. So here it is in his mind, thunderclap. He is not a, he is extremely happy. He is extremely happy. That is thunderclap. So, whenever there is a good function, then at the end of it there will be thunderclap, an excellent function. Give up, give up means stop. He has given up smoking. He has stopped smoking. Then, or throw away, he can say, give up, leave, leave behind. Cranky, cranky means eccentric, strange behavior. Some people are good, some people are cranky by nature, because they are eccentric, they are strange behavior. Now, we have already uh, used this, uh, this in sentences, for example, uh, on, you can see that when the school anniversary is a solemn day for us. Primer. People sometimes carry primer with them, uh, with good words written on it, to, give, to felicitate VAPs. They hand over the primer to the VAPs. Mounted his chair. So the minister mounted his chair. The speaker mounted his chair. Speaker of the legislative assembly. Thunderclap. There was a thunderclap at the end of the function. Uh, when after after a concert, there was a thunderclap. Give up. I already told you I have given up smoking. Cranky. Many people are born cranky. <laughs> I am also. You may think like that. Now here we have got the highlights of this lesson, this section. The school seems so strange and solemn. Because you know, in the previous we have already seen the school ought to be, there should be great bustle and there should be you know, noisy and people opening and closing their desks, opening their, uh, throwing this thing and that thing and shouting and all. So, but today, what happened is that the school seemed very quiet, strange and solemn, very serious, as if, as if some very serious thing is going to happen. The village people sitting on the bike benches. Never a year seen like that. And he, when France entered the school, 
entered his classroom and looked around, he saw the village people are sitting here. Why should they come here? He thought. He was wonderstruck and thunderstruck. Then the announcement by Muhammad. Immediately, what happened is that the students and the village people, they were standing by for a very important announcement, a very solemn announcement by the, head, uh, the French teacher. Uh, then the last French lesson next day on which only German will be taught in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. So the announcement, the main point was that this is the last French lesson from tomorrow uh, from in schools of Alsace and uh, Lorraine only German will be taught. So that was the announcement. And then the thinking or how it affected the people there, especially uh, our friends, our friends, uh, France. That's what we are going to see. Actually, as I told you in this pure form, now you will be given time for reading. You can read. That's some 10, 15 sentences. And while reading, if you have got doubt, the teacher, you can ask the teacher. I, he will explain things to you. And then there's no reading like this, as I am going to do now. I am, I am doing it now because this way of, you are not here present. No? This is the virtual class. And you cannot ask me questions. So I thought of reading. That's all. So it's a kind of, we can say, a modified community, communicative method of teaching. I hope you understand. And now I will read. You are supposed to read, but I will read. Then there are a set of questions that you should answer. Okay. But nothing happened. Nothing happened. He was frightened. They thought then, what, what would the teacher say? What would his classmates say? And so nothing happened. And Hamel saw me and said very kindly, Go to your place quickly, little friends. We were beginning with all. Oh, what a wonderful <laughs> change in the teacher. The teacher used to be with an iron ruler. He used to go around tapping it and uh, shouting. And he was expecting a great scolding that morning. But nothing happened. I jumped over the bench because I was very happy. Jumped over the bench, sat down at my desk. Not till then, when I had got a little over my fright, so I sat down and then I got all. I got a little over my fright. Means my fright, my fear slowly disappeared. My fear disappeared. Why? He is very gentle today. He is not scolding me. He is not angry with me. And uh, all my friends, classmates, they are all sitting with a gloomy face. So I looked around, sorry, did I see that our teacher had had on his, our teacher had on his beautiful green coat, his frilled shirt, and a little black cap, all embroidered, <laughs> decorated, so to say, that he never wore except on inspection and price days. Inspection days and price days are solemn days in school. So he used to come like this, wearing all this paraphernalia, that is, uh, we can see, frilled, frilled shirt. And then you have got a black cap and also a blue, green, beautiful green coat. I said, what is all this? He was wondering. Besides, the whole school seemed so strange and solemn. The whole school, not only the class, but the entire school. But the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches that were always empty, the village people sitting quietly like ourselves, old houser with his, with his, uh, with his, uh, uh, sitting quietly like, uh, uh, like ourselves, old houser with his uh, three-cornered hat, <laughs> three-cornered hat. The former mayor, the former postmaster, and several others besides. So Bagman is fully occupied. Never have seen. What were the why why did he think that you're solemn and strange? These things. The saw the headmaster wearing sorry, not headmaster, sorry. Now the French teacher wearing this smart dress. Now all the villagers sitting there. Everybody looked sad. And house had brought an old primer, thumbed at the edges. Thumbed means you could see the marks of thumbing. You see, thumb is this. So when you hold something now for many times, so many times when you are holding something, then you will find the mark of the thumbs there. 
सो तम इज यूज इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन ओल्ड वन एट दी एडजस्ट एंड ही हेल्ड इट ओपन ऑन हिस नीस ही वाज सिटिंग विद हिस ग्रेट स्पेक्टेकल्स लाइंग अक्रॉस द पेजेस सो देयर वाज समथिंग रिटर्न ऑन दैट दैट पेन दैट द कैनवास एंड वन व्हिच समथिंग वाज ही एंड देयर ओल्ड हाउस वाज होल्डिंग इट इज कंपेयर्ड विद द ओल्ड वन मींस ही लुक्ड वेरी ओल्ड and he was probably reading that while i was wondering about it all and hamel mounted his chair mounted his chair means i told him you know, he sat on his chair and in the same grave and gentle tone with serious tone grave means very serious supposed to be he doesn't smile he doesn't laugh because he is always very serious he wants to impose discipline on the students which he had used to me grave and serious ways with which he always used to me me scolded me sir my children this is the last lesson i shall give you <sighs> the the order has come from berlin to teach only german the schools of alsace and lorraine the new master comes tomorrow this is your last french lesson i want you to be very attentive What a thunder clap! Those who are talking, oh, so, yes, he is. He is a true and so to say. Means not very serious about his studies. While the class is going, on, he will go in search of bird sex, or he will he, he will uh, he will go skating, whatever. Whenever he gets time, he used to skip classes. That's what they uh, from this passage we understand. The thunder clap. Why thunder clap? Because I have no more French lesson. Something that I have no knowledge of. He says, "From the next time, you know what a thunder clap those were to me." Oh, the ratchet! That was what they had put up at the town hall. Oh, the ratchet! Oh, the ratchet! That's way of expressing something which is one doesn't like. Ratchet, you know, he says. Oh, the ratchet! Oh, that was in the bulletin there. Town hall bulletin it was given there that day. Also, say and. Uh, Uh, Lorraine were taken over by the Germans. So from tomorrow on, this the orders of the German officials will will be implemented here. Not right. so Germans want to teach the students German, not uh, uh, French. So the teacher said, "This is the last class, the last French class. This is my last class. Tomorrow on, this a new teacher will come." And he will teach you German. We are a conquered people. They are a conquering people. They we are vanquished, must be defeated, and they are Germans are victory victors. Therefore, the victors will impose their language on us. So from tomorrow there will be German, no French lesson. I said. Then he said, I must. Ah, uh, he said, uh, my last French lesson. Why I hardly knew. How to write? So he said, he is saying like, uh, uh, last time was what is there for me? Was I did not know anything about it. Uh, that is, I hardly knew how to how how even to write. I should never learn anymore. I must stop there and then. So that is his first reaction. He's so really happy about this. Extremely happy. He said, there is a thunder clap in his mind. He said, no more reference. I don't know how to write. So here, stop. End of it. Oh, then he changes his attitude. Oh, how sorry I was for not learning my lessons, for seeking bird sex, for ghost riding on the sand. So bad. I got a chance and opportunity to learn French, but I did not. I am sorry for that. How bad it was. I should have learned. I should have been. I should have attended the class. I should have given more attention to my lessons. I should have taken my studies seriously. Now he feel feel feels very sad. Sometimes it happens. No, very often it happens. When you are students, you are not serious about it. After some day in your life, or when the, the schooling stops, you know, then you are unable to go to a school for some reason. Then you start thinking, oh, I should have. That's called examination of conscience. What? Trying to recollect, oh how I wasted my time! Like the prodigal son, 
said it, you know the story of the prodigal son. Yes? So he said eggs and saw. My books that have seen such nuisance. A while ago, some time ago, uh, so heavy to carry. So I thought that my books were a nuisance to me. They were very heavy. For example, my grammar and my history of the science were old friends now that I couldn't give up. I won't leave them. Now suddenly these books have become old friends to me. Once upon a time I used to curse, saying saying that thinking that they are very heavy, useless. Why should I learn this? I don't know how to write French even. Therefore, why should I? Every day I come here, I get great cold scolding from my teacher, Hamel. So what is it? But now I will. The loss. So that this happens with you often enough. The last day I in your class. Uh, the last lesson given by your teacher, etc. Very sentimental and very emotional. Both students and teachers will become more social. There is a thing called social at the end of the year. Then students will say, we are very sorry, whatever we have done, and we, are sorry, we regret, we are sorry, we should have, uh, we should have applied more uh, mind into these uh, studies, but that we did not know. We are sorry, we, if you have done anything wrong, please forgive and so on. They will say like that. Maybe it is formality, but at the same time you can see, if, even if it is formality, at least at that time they will come to know about that, isn't it? When something is lost, you will understand its value. Right. There is a proverb in our language, the translation is, uh, when you have eyes, you don't know the value of your eyes. When, when, you, when you, suppose you have no eyes, there's no, you become blind. Then you will understand how valuable you are isolated. That is exactly like this here. A loss brings to his mind that how dear those things were. That is the grammar books, the heavy grammar book you can say, or the history of the saints and all the other things. And M. Hamlet too, so, or this teacher also. The idea that he was going away, that I could never see him again, made me made me forget all about his roller, iron roller, <coughs> which he used to wrap, uh, how cranky he was. He was cranky, according to this man, this boy. But he still, then he, the idea that he's going away, the idea that I won't be able to see him from tomorrow, I'm very sad about it. Now we can question, answer these questions. This much is work should have been done by you. If in a classroom situation, then you should do it. With the help of the teacher, of course. Not explaining like that. Now you can see, why did the school seem strange and swallow? Because nobody was talking, there was no noise, they were waiting for an announcement. Somehow they had this idea that uh, some say mental telepathy, they say, you know, feeling like that. Something is going, going, something bad is going to happen. So that's why they thought like that. Why did the school seem strange? And so? The teacher is very kind and gentle. Students are not talking, no noise, no bustle, nothing of that sort. So strange and so on. It looked like a price days or inspection days. What was that surprise to, surprise the fans? What, 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 did, what was their surprise to France? France was surprised by seeing the villages at the back benches. Back benches were all completely houseful. The villages, old house, mayor, former mayor and postmaster and many others. And the house was within a primer on which something was written. What was, what the, what was, sorry, what? What was, what was the general mood of the classroom? The general mood of the classroom was, what was it? They were very sad, something, sad and quiet. They were waiting, they were sad, they were, it's very clearly it is written. So, you see, you are supposed to answer. In the communicative method of teaching, you have to answer, not myself. Well, I am doing it as I have already told you the context. What was the announcement made by M. Hamel? So the announcement made by Hamel is very clearly written here. That is, uh, this is the last French lesson. 
from tomorrow onwards in schools, the Alsace and the, uh, Lorraine or German will be taught. This is my from this is my last class, and and these are the things that he made. The new master will come comes tomorrow. The this is your last fund lesson. I want you to be very attentive and things like that. He said, understand? Yes. And he also addressed my children very polite, very gentle. And then uh, what was the announcement? Do you do you notice any change of mind in France? Yes. And what is that? First he was very happy. Turn the clock. Then slowly changes. He becomes very sad. Nostalgia comes at his mind. Nostalgia. That is longing for the past. Today is the last day. Tomorrow it will be past. French lessons will be past. Teacher will be past. Books will be past. Grammar book will be past. The history of science will be past. Participles will be past. Participles something that you've done. So he was very Thought that, oh, from tomorrow I can't be, I won't be able to, I will be missing. I will miss my teacher. Although he was a kind of person. Yes. So he thinks, but why, why only German in Asia say and Lorraine? Why? Because, as we have seen, it was taken over, these two districts were taken over by uh, the French. The Prussians, you remember, no? The last class we saw the uh, Prussian soldiers drilling. So they have taken, they have taken over this. So Prussians, Germans. So they, uh, it was their order that from tomorrow only German should be taught in these two districts. Because now this is occupied by the Germans. So these are the questions. Any other questions possible you can make? For example, how did the teacher welcome uh, France this day? Very kind. Generally. He said, go to your place quickly, little forms. We were beginning to talk. You can ask, you can ask a question like that, isn't it? So, why did, uh, said, uh, when did he notice the change? He noticed the change when he got a little over his fright. He noticed, when did he notice the change? Then what was, uh, I can say, the, uh, uh, describe the appearance of Hamlet or what were the changes, what changes did you find in the dress habit of Hamlet, the French teacher. So he was wearing uh, the dress that is coat, then uh, hat, and then a cap, etc. He used to wear only an inspection days and price list. So that is also a strange thing that he noticed. Listen. And why did he think that, why, why did he, uh, that already we have seen. Why did he, the school seem strange and so on. School seems strange and so on, we have already seen. Another reason also is there because the villages were at the back of the uh, back benches. So, this you can, you can, the best thing is you make questions yourself and then you answer and see whether you have missed any point. This is actually the communicative method of teaching. Understand? Something that we can implement in our schools. So because this is student-centered teaching program, teaching method, not teacher-centered. Communicative method of teaching is Student centered, not teacher centered. Now, what actually I am doing here is, uh, you can see, semi communicative. I told you, my limitations, I told you. If I would be taking a class, so if students are sitting here, definitely I will say, go around and help them to read, to make uh, frame questions, and also to answer questions. The, the thing is that there is a process going on. There is a process going on. Uh, but uh, in this way, uh, say, our usual way, uh, you read the uh, grammar and translation method, that's what they used to know. And this continues in many places, uh, grammar and translation method. So that is, you, you read, you explain, then word by word, uh, 
then at the end you you yourself miss you miss teacher you yourself will make the questions teacher himself will uh, answer the questions students have not know students should have know so this is a process understand if you once you get into this you know you will simply enjoy it. the students will never get bored say i am not speaking that the person method is anything i am not criticizing it, the person method or any such thing just try if you, if you can try and i think it will be good because there is a process isn't it <coughs> yes hope that you you will you are enjoying my classes and you are getting benefit out of it so share like and subscribe bye have a nice time enjoy your